Hey everyone, welcome to Alejandro Trainland. We are going to travel through the soundtrack of my life. But don't worry, you won't have to move from your seat. Remember, always keep your hands inside the train. Always keep your seatbelt fastened when the light is on. Enjoy your ride and I hope you brought your own snacks, because we aren't giving you any. So, let's start. Okay guys, as we arrive at the first stop, I'm going to talk you about this trip. So we are going through the soundtrack of my life and we are going to pass by 10 songs that represent 10 moments of my life. Um, I think we're arriving to the first stop. Okay, so if you look to my left, you are going to see the first song. Its name is Danza Couturo and it was released in 2010 by Don Omar and Lucenzo. And if you look to my right, you are going to see the memory that represents this song. So yeah, the photo you saw was from me and my schoolmates from second grade. And in this year, um, like in my school, we had these dance battles between grades from elementary school. And the dances were made by my dance teacher and he chose the, ch the chorus of the song. And like made all the grades dance the same part so basically there's a generation from my school that knows this little dance and that's why this song like it's important to me because it will always remind me of my school of my elementary years and because every time this song is played in a party and there is people from my school we like dance the little part the the chorus and like the chorus repeat and repeat so we dance the whole song um together and sometimes the other people in the party like get together with us and dance because it's like not that difficult and it's really funny okay so our time here it's over we are going to the next stop. While we get there, you can get some beverages that are in front of your seats. Okay, we've ju okay, we've just arrived to the second song, and if you look to my left, you will see it. So this song is called Mirror Dad, and it was released in 2015 by Bana and Shakira. So this song has a really cute story because um, I was in the living room with my sister and my mom and I think it was like 2015 and we were listening to music and my mom just put this song in the TV and said that she dedicated that song to me and my sister and I think it's really special because this song talks about the love of a mother and the love she feels through like her child and um, how like the child are for a mother they're her true and it, i think it's really special and it's really special to me too every time i listen to it i remember my mom and um, if you look to my left my right you will see a photo of the people that i relate this song to here we're going to continue to the next song which is really close because because it's in May 26 of 2016. Okay, everyone, I need your attention. We are getting to the third song, and it's Ria Chinito by Perota Chingo, which was released in 2014. If you look to my red left, you will see it. To my right you will see the post or the picture i relate i relate this song to so i'm going to explain the relation that of the that post and this song it was to may 26 of 2016 and my sister posted that picture of me when i was little and with that description that said china los ojos morochos más lindos que vi and that's a quote of that song and um, when I searched that song and um, I found out, found out about it I really felt in love with it 
not only because like it's a beautiful song and my sister like posted it because also be but also because um it's really like a pa a peaceful song that takes you to like a peaceful place and i don't know i just hear to it and i feel relaxed and connected with myself okay so let's move on and while we get to the next song to the next song i'm going to talk about it its name is photograph and it was released by chian in 2014 and i think we're just arriving so if you look to right you're going to see the description loving can hurt loving can hurt sometimes So in this song is meaningful to me because in 2017 I had an Etienne concert, so I listened to all his discography and I found this song. And I felt in love with it because it talks about like memories, and photographs. And as you can see, I I really like care about memories, and about like little things. And I think it's a really beautiful song that involves all of this, and I just think it's like the perfect song to dedicate or to listen to when you are in love or when you are not because it talks about like loving can hurt. And if you look to my right, you will see like a photo of me in the concert, uh, with my with my cousin. Also, if you looked, you saw a poster next to my picture with my cousin, and it's the poster of the movie Maybe for You, because uh, this song is playing in this movie, and this movie is like one of my favorite movies because it like it's like the only human movie that make me cry, and when they play this song in. A really like important part of the movie and two important parts actually like made me cry and every time I see that movie I watch that movie I cry while singing that singing that song and it's just like art when <laughs> that happened and I don't know I just I just love like how that made me feel and how a life that made me feel Okay, leaving aside that sentimental parenthesis, we're going to the next song, which is related to Christmas season. So prepare your Christmas hat and prepare yourself to eat some buñuelos and natilla. And this song is called Me Resbala and it was released in 2014 by Integración Casanova, as you can see in my left. And this song is meaningful to me because um, in Christmas season, like my grandma used to dance to it, and like it was really funny because we all like knew when this song was played in like any of the reunions we had in Christmas, and my grandma like danced to it and sang to it, so sang it, so I don't know, like it's just cute to remember her that way of like so happy and so like careless because that was she always taught me like to let people do what they want and be myself and also like do what i want and while i wasn't her hurting hurting anyone so like i think it's a good lesson and it's a good song that represents that lesson and if you see to my right, you will see like a picture of my family, like in that Christmas reunions. Okay, so to get to the next song, you will have to take a nap because it's a little long from here and you will need to rest. So I hope you rest and take a good sleep. Hi everyone, I don't want to wake you up, but we've just arrived to the sixth song. And if you look, through your right window, right window, you will see it. Name is Time of Our Lives, and it was released in 2014 by Neo and Pitbull. Okay, 
so this song is the anthem of my friend group since 2020 when we were in the pandemic and like we had the 15th birthday of one of us and literally we're just five people in that party that part our friend group so when this song was played we just like start jumping and singing it to the top of our lungs and since that since that moment in every party this song is played we just do the same like screaming to our faces and it's like a moment of euphoria and it feels like ecstasy where we are like it feels like we are the only people that exist in the world in that moment and we are going to die together and everything like it's just magic pure magic and like it's a feeling that you hope it lasts forever but it doesn't but i just love it and now that you're looking to the right you will see this picture that was in this 15th birthday where the song became the anthem of our group so we're getting to the next song and as you can see through windows the weather is not it is it best and also you will see the next song which is summertime sadness by lana ray and it was released in 2012 Now I'm going to explain you a um, little reason of the weather. So this song came in my life in a moment that I wasn't really well and in 2021 and it was like the start of the summer and this song I heard it like years before but in that moment like it reappeared and like like changed the game again and it represented that that moment but also I start listening to Lana and Ray discography and while I was listening to it everything started changing not not only because I felt represented with each song and with each moment that, that was happening in my life was represented by a song of her but also because like the things were getting better in my life to that point Moving on to a more happy song, let's talk about Provenza and that is a song released by Carl G in 2022 and in my left is the description. <laughs> song was released it got really popular in social media and everywhere everyone was singing it and I remember I was really happy because I had her concert like one month after the song was released so it was her first time singing it I and mean, it was here in Cali she sang it two times because of that and I don't know like everyone in the stadium was screaming it and like everyone already knew the lyrics because it's like a song that calls you to dance and to scream and to jump and it was really beautiful to be able to be there and if you look to the right we're going to see a video that shows the moment in the concert Okay, so as you saw, like it was really beautiful to be there in that moment, and also this song like got to another level in my life after that concert because um, it was like the last months of school because I, we were going to graduate, so my promotion like for some reason we got obsessed with that song, and in the the day of the student in my school. And like we did a like a mini party and we put that song and like everyone was screaming it to the top of our lung to the top of our lungs and it was like one of my last memories in my school and also one of the beautiful most beautiful moments um, because like it was a goodbye and after that the song was played also in the prom where we uh, sang it again after a few months Provenza became an important song in my life. Another song took that step too, and it's Calipa Changuero. And I know if you look to your to my left, you will see that 
it was released in 1984, so like most of the people know it, and if you're from Cali, you will know it too. And especially because it's seen by the Grupo Nietzsche. So let me explain why this song, after I heard it, I heard it for my whole life, like it only changed the last year. And it's because uh, I was in New York for two months by myself in an exchange, and I was for some reason in Coney Island with my po Polish friend and we were in the in the beach and we heard like some music and some salsa so we get close and it was some Puerto Rican people and Ecuadorian people and they played this song and I just like was shocked because um, like it was so weird to listen to that song in another country I just thought it was like it wasn't that popular so it was like changed my mind and I'm going to let you see the video in the right <laughs> Okay, so as you saw, the song was being played like in the middle of the street where everyone was passing and the people was just dancing to it. And I was just like really amazed because, you know, it's, you, you don't expect to listen to such an emblematic song from your country or your city in another place where like there's a lot of people. And like it made me realize how much I miss my country and my city and how much it really means to me, even though sometimes I just don't like it or I say that I'm tired of living here, it will always be an important part of my life. And I was born here and I will always like live here. And I think that realizing that is really important to love your country. Okay, sadly, this trip is getting to its end and I'm going to present you the last song and if you look to your right, you will see it. Okay, as you saw, this song is Fair Chosien by Fade and it was released in 2022 and I'm going to explain you first. I didn't choose this song because of its lyrics or because like the meaning of the song, I, I just like it means a lot, not only for me, I think for the whole fandom of Faith. Um, I, I think it's because like in all the concerts, he just let the people sing this song to the top of their lungs. And it happened to me in his concert here in Cali in, in December. And also this song represents three people in my life. Uh, not this song, but like this artist and the first one is my best friend from my whole life that she was in this concert with me and first i'm going to let you see the video from the concert so after you saw the video i hope you felt the same I do when I like watch it or like when I was there because it was like magic I felt like floating everyone singing the same song like I don't know it's just like really amazing to me and I was waiting for that moment like for a whole month because I knew he did that in another concert and uh, the fact that I was with my best friend of my whole life and it was like a goodbye for one of the best years of my life it was like Everything was really meaningful to me. And also this song and this artist reminds me of two friends that I met in New York, Gabriela and Lynette. And we used to sing to Fercha songs everywhere, in the train, in our bedrooms. And it was like something that connect the three of us. And yeah, okay, so yeah, that's the end of this trip. And while we get to the station, I'm going to give you a little reflection that I always share with the people that travel with me. So I feel like music is really meaningful uh, in our lives because it changes our lives. It makes our mood to change too. And it's like really magic how it happens. But for me, that's not like the only thing. I think like music can 
be connected with moments and with people and that's what I did because that's what it it is for me and I didn't put like in my soundtrack and uh, my favorite songs or like the songs I listen to all the time and uh, some of them I of them I do but I want to say that most of them don't because for me mm, my son the soundtrack of my life is more than just songs that I like is songs that represents people or moments that change my life or that are really meaningful in my life and that's what music does i think when you listen to an important song to uh, an important song in your life it just takes you back to that moment and it's because these songs create a space and a specific space in your brain that you can connect with the moments or the people that you, you listen to this song with or you were listening when they happened and I don't know I think it's really special and I hope you enjoy this ride and yeah just leave music and let it change your life or impact it in a good way